What is up YouTube, IDM here and welcome back to another video. So I'm gonna show you guys how to get Postbox on your iPhone or iPad. This works on iOS 14 and iOS 15. So this will work if you're jailbroken and non-jailbroken, which I think is seriously cool because on a non-jailbroken iPhone on iOS 15, this allows you to download free jailbreak themes that you can use without a jailbreak, which is pretty damn awesome. I'll get more into that later in this video. It's probably gonna be a bit of a longer video because there's a lot to talk about with Postbox and how it all works. But anyways, to get started, you're gonna need Alt Store. Um, I'll leave my video guide link in the description to get Alt Store. This is required if you are not jailbroken. If you are jailbroken, you can add the Postbox repo to your package manager and install it that way but i still recommend even if you're jailbroken to still do the alt store method and the reason is because if you were to lose your jailbreak if you have it installed through like cydia or cilio or zebra or whatever uh, if you lose your jailbreak you will lose postbox but if you do the alt store method you will not lose postbox now postbox is basically kind of like a repo hub for your iPhone. I'll get more into details in a minute. Like I said, I recommend just using Alt Store. link in the description. Next thing we're gonna need to do is go into the Discord application. This is a free app from the App Store. And then also you need to join the Postbox development server. Invite link for this is in the description. Everything you need is in the description, so just check it out. Uh, and once you join this server, just go to the download section here. And as you can see, here's everything you need to get Postbox on your device. There is the repo, there is the old test flight uh, link, which is no longer active because Apple did reject the application. Unfortunately, there's a .deb, and then there's the .ipa. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the .ipa uh, because this is the non-jailbreak method. But even if you're jailbroken, I still recommend doing it this way uh, because of what I said earlier. So once you download the .ipa, you can see you can open an alt store. If you don't see that option, go to more, swipe over until you see the alt store in your share sheet. Go ahead and click on that. And now alt store is going to install Postbox onto your device. So just be patient as it finishes up here. All right, and now Alt Store is done installing Postbox onto my device, but as you can see, it's still not on my home screen. This is a really annoying bug. I'm not sure why it still does this, but if it doesn't show up, pretty much the workaround is to do a force restart on your iPhone. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now by doing volume up, volume down, and then just holding the side button until I see the Apple logo again. You could just slide to power off, but I like to force restart my iPhones. Uh, it's just my preferred method, so. I'll just go ahead and wait for that Apple logo to show up. And now once my device is done booting up, the Postbox application should be on my home screen. Okay, my device is done booting up and there you go. As you can see, Postbox is now on the home screen. So we're gonna go ahead and launch this application. Uh, for some reason, when you first open it, you need to tap and it'll close the app and then it reopens it just the way it works. And uh, this is Postbox. Now, like I said earlier, this is kind of like a a repo manager application. Um, it's it's not like how Cilio or Cydia is. You can't actually install you know tweaks with Postbox, but it does house all your repos and everything. So if you wanted a central hub for all the repos uh, that you will never lose, basically you can house them in Postbox. But anyways, so the today screen here is uh, stories. Uh, it's basically. Uh, jailbreak tweaks and jailbreak news as you can see here they have the reddit jailbreak um, feed here also uh, a feed for i download blog with jailbreak information which is really quite handy I, I love how this looks it's it's really clean it's more clean than the actual website so i do like that um, but where it gets fun is when you get into packages here you guys would probably recognize this because it looks a lot like cilio or Zebra with how it's set up. You can see all these jailbreak tweaks and themes and packages, uh, which I think is really cool. And you can go into the package, 
you can see everything about the tweak you can see the screenshots now remember this is on a non jailbroken iphone so i'm able to look at all this uh with no jailbreak which is pretty damn cool so that's neat and all but where it gets really cool is in the repos here you can see here's the the default repos that comes with postbox you can add these ones looks like they haven't been added yet so i added two more repos uh to my repo list and of course you can go into these and it looks just like it does like on Cydia or Cilio. You can go into themes, so on and so forth. Um, you can go ahead and go to manage repos here and you can add all of the repos that you have on your jailbroken iPhone and this will house all the repos you have. So one thing that's really annoying when you're jailbroken is if you lose your jailbreak, uh, you lose all the repos that you have added to your package manager and it can be kind of annoying to try and hunt down all those repos again to then re-add them. But within Postbox, if you install it with the alt store, um, it's not tied to a jailbreak. So if you lose your jailbreak, this will remain and it will keep all the repos that you originally had. And you can go ahead and you can export your repos. You can add, you know, all the repos you currently have from Cydia, Cilio, or Zebra, as you can see there. So you can import them really easily uh, you can just go ahead and manually add a repo as well so complete repo control from uh, postbox pretty damn cool and that's kind of the benefit for a jailbroken iphone is it's kind of a repo manager application that you won't lose if you lose your jailbreak but where this gets really kind of cool in my opinion is on a non jailbroken iphone obviously my iPhone 12 Pro Max is not jailbroken right now because it's on iOS 15 and I can still use this app. Now what's cool here if you guys are into theming your icons on iOS 15 like I am here, you can use Postbox to download free themes, so free jailbreak themes from certain repos. Now I have tried this on a few different repos, I don't think that the I think it's Dynastic does not work, um, Twict does not work, so those are two that don't work, but Packix does, and Chariz does as well. So let's go ahead and go into uh, the Chariz repo, let's go to themes, and as you can see here is a free theme from the Chariz repo, and you'll notice that it's free by the little icon here. If it's a paid theme, there will be a price there, and from what I can tell, there's no way to purchase them on a non jailbroken iphone through postbox so if there's a price tag there uh, basically you can't install it on a non jailbroken iphone but if it's free you can and i'm going to show you guys how to do this right now and i think that this is seriously cool i think that all repos uh, any repo should allow you to do this if it's a free theme uh, allow postbox to let people install these themes because then they can be used on a non jailbroken iPhone, which I think is really cool. So we're going to download Felicity Pro onto my non jailbroken iPhone. So just click the download button, direct to download. As you can see, we go right to a download here in Safari. Just click download. And I wish that would go away. Oh, and apparently, oh no, it downloaded. So we go to downloads. Holy, let me get rid of these notifications. Be right back. Okay, notifications fixed. Now we're back in Safari. If we go to downloads, you will see here is Felicity Pro in which I just downloaded. Now this isn't a .dep uh, file, so we will have to extract all of the contents in order to use the icons. So like I said, this is a .deb, so we're gonna do locate, and then we're gonna share in the upper right. And another application you will need from the App Store is called iZip. I'm pretty sure the free version will allow you to do this. I have the pro version, but we're just gonna open this .deb theme into iZip Pro. And then we're gonna uh, allow it to unzip the files. And then we're gonna go into the data. So go into data and then unzip those files. Now we can go into data and unzip that. So there's a little bit of extraction here. This is just the way that a dev file is constructed. And we go into these files here. And as you can see, we are now in the theme so if we go into theme here you can see there's icon bundles and here are all of the felicity pro icons at least some of them they're kind of uh, broken up into subsections you can see here is the alt icons so a bunch there and then there is also the alts found here so that some more icons there 
Now, how to use these? So we're gonna we're gonna keep going with this. I know it's a longer video, but there is a lot of people that have been asking me how I do this kind of stuff. So now that we have extracted all of this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my files application and I'm already in my themes folder. This is something I've covered a ton of on my iPhone. It's just a bunch of iPhone themes, icon themes that I use on my non jailbroken iPhone. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new folder and I'm just going to call it uh, Felicity Pro, just like that. So I have made the folder. So we have Felicity Pro on my iPhone. now. Jumping back into iZip, uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to start out with um, the main theme here. We're going to go into icon bundles. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move this whole folder. So I'm just going to click on it and click on the little share icon at the bottom there. And then it asks you if you want to compress them, say no. And then we're just going to save to files. And now we're going to go into themes and we're going to find that Felicity Pro folder in which I created. Let me minimize that. So there is Felicity Pro and I'm just going to save that to um, that folder within my files and it, it will take a little time to move it because there's probably a lot of icons to move. So just be patient as you do this. Okay now it has uh, transferred the, the icon bundles over to my files application. As you can see it's still generating all of the icons. There is a lot of them so just be patient as it does this it does take a little bit of time and uh, we're gonna hop back in here and then we can move the alt icons as well uh, so there's a couple of them here I'll just start out with number one and then again we're gonna repeat the same process where we just move this icon bundles folder so I'm gonna do share no and then I'm gonna go ahead and save to file so if you want all of the icons uh, that comes with the theme this is basically how you got to do it it's a little uh, time consuming, but you know, just remember we're doing this on a non jailbroken iPhone, which is seriously cool. Uh, so we're gonna do keep both on that. So we'll transfer this one and I'll be back as soon as it's done. Okay, and it just finished up. Now I think that's good enough for example, I, I could move, you know, alt two, alt three, so on and so forth. But if we go into files here, um, let me go ahead and try and kill this. Sometimes the loading progress gets bugged out and it looks like it's still working on it. But if we go into icon bundles, as you can see, here are the Felicity Pro icons that I just transferred from Postbox into my files application. And now for example, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make one custom icon out of this theme just so you guys can see how it all ties together. So within shortcuts, we're gonna do plus, add action, scripting, open app, and I guess we'll just do uh, maybe App Store for example. So App Store and then click the uh, settings button, add to home screen, choose file, and then we're going to go into the Felicity Pro folder within my files application. If I can find it here, I have a lot of themes. <laughs> so Felicity Pro looks like all of our icon bundles have loaded, which is 1000 items, uh, which is kind of a lot. So maybe we can just find the app store icon here real quick. So there it is. We'll just choose that. We'll clear the name so it looks clean and add to home screen and boom there you go from here you just build the rest of your icons from felicity pro it opens up the app store as you can see and that is how you can use postbox to get jailbreak themes on your iphone on ios 15 no jailbreak also if you are jailbroken on ios 14 you can use this app as a repo um, kind of hub on your iphone it's seriously cool i'd recommend you guys to check it out Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been IDM, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.